G'day guys, I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, just wanted to make this video on um, on soul retrieval. Uh, if any of you guys out there have been stupid enough, uh, like I was, to to sell your soul um, in in proper, you know, witchcraft or proper satanic circles uh, where you've even used blood, even if you've done a blood pact and uh, done it all properly and and done the done the ceremony properly and and even if you're a, an illuminati or a mason who probably most of the masonic uh, order these people did it by accident uh, a lot of them just get dragged in around the age of 30 years old uh, when their energy is getting high um, and they they get channeled down these these paths with you know economic rewards and jobs and whatever and they go through these stages of of um of induction where where they don't actually know what they're doing until it's too late for them uh you know they've sold it they've sold their soul uh and and swore allegiance to to satan um without actually knowing knowing what they're doing um getting getting absolutely manipulated by the higher levels um that know what's going on uh, they get sworn to secrecy and you know they get they will get attacked by demonic entities and blood magic and and demons and stuff will will attack their families and and stuff uh, um this this stuff with the illuminati and the masonic order and even you know uh shamanism and and, and low level witchcraft um and demonic divination um it, it is all reversible that's what i want to say it is reversible um demons and high level high level masons and high level shamans and that sort of thing they'll they want you to believe that it's not reversible even if you do blood magic you know um where you offer your blood and and you, you stuff like that it is reversible that's what i want to say to you guys it is reversible so so it's not easy it's going to take dedication but it's reversible you can reverse it um I actually saw a video which helped me through my dark times, um, which turned me around, uh, from a guy called Gino Ark. Uh, he's a YouTube guy. He's got a Christian channel, um, and I actually he, his video was the was the reason why I got my soul back. Um, I, I used all the tactics and 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 information that he had put on his on his site. Um, so I can't, I can't do a better video than that guy, uh, on this, on this topic. So I suggest you go and look at Gino Arc, um, you know, or type in something like selling your soul, um, and getting it back or whatever. And go, go and look at that video. He's, uh, he's, he's bang on the money. I, I can say that for sure because I did it myself. I used, I used his tactics. Um. Uh, one thing I wanted to say from my from my own experience as well, um, something that I didn't know. Uh, obviously, not not many people would, unless you're a devout Christian, know this stuff. But when you do things like uh, enter into the Masonic societies, uh, sell your soul, uh, align with the uh, align with the Illuminati, um, do blood magic, um, do shamanism. Uh, you know, ayahuasca journeys or um, sweat lodges or laying in circle, circles, circle stones and facing east and and doing rituals and, and invoking demons and devils and earth-based spirits. It's, it's, it doesn't just affect you. It doesn't just affect you. And I... You know, masons, high-ranking masons, and that sort of stuff. Uh, they know this, but not until it's too late that it affects your family. Your children inherit your sins. So therefore, when I was doing mine, uh, when I, when I went through all my, sh you know, shamanic stuff, and and rituals and and witchcraft and occult practices without going too far into what I actually did. Um, it affects the people around you, especially your children. Um, D 
demons can then jump in and out of your, out of your children. They can attack your children because it's passed on through your bloodline. Um, High-ranking masons and stuff like that won't tell you, but the low-level masons and that, the next couple of generations of kids will be retarded. You know, they have a high high risk of retardation of their children or a high risk of um, curses and family curses. Curses that go through your bloodline that, that, that don't just leave within a generation. They last two, three, four, four generations' time. So what you're actually doing is selling out your whole bloodline, your whole lineage. You know, your kids have done nothing wrong. You want to be a mason or or join the Illuminati or you want to be in, you know, these secret societies, uh, you know, any of the ones in Yale, you know, universities, like the the powerful ones, not the garbage ones, you know, like Skull and Bones and Scroll and Key and all that sort of stuff. If you want to go into those, you're selling out your own family. You're selling out your future. You're selling out your kids. Um... I really hope that people that are even thinking about joining these occult societies really do their research and have a deep understanding because I didn't. I didn't have any discernment whatsoever. I stuffed up. I made every mistake possible. And I do want to tell you that it's reversible. You can reverse it. You can break those blood curses. You can break that, that family lineage blood curse. You can do it. You can do it. It's doable. But... You need the right tools. Um, you need the right tools and, and you need to turn back to Jesus Christ immediately. And even when you do turn back to Jesus Christ, they're going to smash you. You're going to get absolutely peppered by these entities. Um, they're not going to want to give you up. And so you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight all your way through it and, and fight, you know, f for months, months on end. But there will be light at the end of the tunnel. It's either that or, or bury your head in the sand, keep going on your Masonic agenda, keep, you know, gaining your wealth and, and changing changing your monetary circumstances and getting a bigger house and a better car and, and making your kids retarded. Cursing your kids for five generations down the track who've done nothing, you haven't chose this or and get ready to burn in hell. I don't want to see that for anybody. Like even the worst, worst person in the world, it's been the greediest, dirtiest person. I mean, my past is speaks for itself. I'm an absolute scoundrel. I'm an absolute scoundrel, and I'm disgraced about my past, about my drug use, about my occult practices, about you know the blood sacrifice. I, I, it's disgraceful. It makes me absolutely turn in my stomach. But then again. It's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason why I did it and why I've come out the other side, and that's to turn you guys around. Um, turn back to Jesus. Go see that video by Gino Ark. Um, go see a deliverance minister. Get the demons out of you. Get some protection. Get some holy water. You know, pray. Get right with Jesus. Get your house anointed by a, by a minister. Get some oil around your door frames, around your window frames. Reclaim your soul through the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, pin pin all your sin. Scream out and pin all your sin to, to the cross of Jesus Christ and have faith in Jesus Christ. That's what he came here for. God knew you were going to do this stuff. God knew you were going to stuff up. He knew I was going to be an absolute moron. He knew that. And that's why he sent his son down here to die for us. And through his blood, you can be saved. You can be saved. So, turn back now. Um... Go watch that video. Go search other videos that truly sing praise to Jesus Christ and God and you can be saved. You don't have to live like these wicked, wicked individuals. You know, and even if you're just naive and you got yourself caught up in it, that's fine. That's fine. You can turn it around. Turn back to Jesus ASAP. Um, yeah, good luck with everything. I know it's a tough battle if you're going through this. I pray for you guys. I really do. I hope you guys are are going to fight the good fight and win. Um, I hope you're stronger than me. I hope you're stronger and smarter than me because I, you know, I'm, I was a moron. All right, guys, turn yourself around. I love you a lot. Uh, stay away from the new age crap. Stay away from crystals. Stay away from garbage. Stay away from tarot cards, Ouija boards. Turn back to Jesus immediately. Uh, get yourself right before they pull the economy out from under us. All right, guys, love you.